And we're back for what if I what I believe is day nine. What the hell? We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. What? Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. That doesn't make any sense. I, f I did this already. Or is it just reminding me of where I left off? Because I swear to God, I already plugged in the power source last up last time I yesterday. When I was recording, I plugged in the power source. So if this has reset me, but back to before that happened, I'm gonna be really pissed. No, okay. Hang on. No, that bit up there is activated. Okay, so I did plug in the power source, and hopefully I had the conversations. But well, if I didn't, that's okay too. I'll just deal with it later. Yes, are we talking? Oh, I guess we're not talking. Okay, so clearly I did do... Alright, so I guess it does think I did that. I was worried I'd lost all that stuff I did. I have to do it again. Look at that. I found a third power source. What? Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Oh, come on. What's this? Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key. Ah. Uh, running out. I'll make the trip. Really? What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. <laughs> you you really expect us to believe that, William? Ready when you are, Desmond. I, what? Winter approaches. All right. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. Uh -oh. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. Uh -oh. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots. Oh, don't do that. Of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day. But there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. I don't know. That's... Well, we'll certainly see if that's a good idea or not. <sighs> For some reason. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Uh -huh. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. Uh-oh. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. I walk Life into. is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. Oh, God. This is not going to turn out well. Connor, is, don't do this. You don't know. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. It's foreshadowing. Ha! <laughs> 22, and he thinks he knows how to save the world at the end of a blade. <laughs> That's just not going to happen or go well. Am I locked out of the homestead now or something? I mean, seriously, what the hell? I better not be locked out of the homestead. Although, Achilles may not want me to... <laughs> Cute. Alright, what, what have I got here? Any homestead missions? Oh, apparently I can go, go this way now. Or as I could not before. Boston, New York. So I can go to New York. I do kind of want to go to New York and do all the missions there. But I guess that will have to wait until later. Let's go see what uh, Georgie wants. 
This is getting tense. Any last words? Any last words? All of your life. This happens... I don't understand why this happens. Alright, whatever. Where's the way out of this stupid place? This way? Alright. Oh, it's so it's ridiculous at times. Oh, it's this is a winter this is a winter from hell. I'll tell you what. All right, I can assume I can go to Valley Forge now. So let's let's go. Let's go to Valley Forge then. I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to do actual pauses in between uh, like episodes, not like long, but enough to do enough to break it so that I don't have to worry about where I cut the scenes. Since I can do, since uh, YouTube has, you know, authorized me for videos longer than, whoop, okay, uh, really? Since YouTube is, has kindly authorized me for videos wow. longer than 15 minutes, it doesn't matter how long I take to, to do a thing. Well, within reason, of course. Of course, I don't have a timer set up or anything, so that may or may not end up working out. Well, beaver pelts are val valuable. Dude, Connor, come on now. You can do better than that. <sighs> I still have this terrible feeling that I've missed something on the homestead missions, but whatever. Oh, when once again I run into the hilariously bad... <laughs> I can't hit a beaver that's waddling through snow. Once again I run into some of the hilariously bad... Um, horse pathfinding. To the point where I almost think it would be better just to take to the trees and run. As a matter of fact, I'm about to run into where the horse can't go, aren't I? I sure am. Whee! Ha! <laughs> Fine. I will just run. Hmm. Maybe I'd be better off climbing. Let's see. Let's go find a nice climb point here. <laughs> or I can just jump into a... Really, beaver? Come on, you're so <laughs> whatever. This is some winter. Look at how vicious the snow is. All right, I'm. Did I forget how to play the game overnight? Now is that what it is? It's been two days since I played, and now I've forgotten how to do stuff. Snow is disorienting. I can see that much. Okay, let me actually mark this so I know where I'm going. That's better. Okay. Oh, now it seems I would have done well to... Huh. Gee, I can find, find animal tracks in the deep snow. A hare eats some flowers here. Did they now? It's okay, the said hare is about to... Gah! The said hare is about to escape. Fine. Huh, let me swim the icy river. Ah. Uh, why not, you know? Connor doesn't take any damage from the water, from, from freezing water, so why not? I'm now incognito. Okay, they don't mind me here. I think I'm just a swell dude. Well, and well, George, you should, of course. That was an unexpected intro, intro to the entry to this episode. Willie, what does William think he's doing, going off to retrieve the thing? He's not going to... Come on! If he had any knowledge of this of narrative causality whatsoever, he'd know that that's just guaranteed to go bad. But I'm still suspicious of him. I just I don't know why. I can't. I feel like I can't trust him. Let's make sure my mic isn't too high so it doesn't pick up my breathing too badly. Okay. So I'm at Valley Forge, where, if I remember correctly, the sol uh, the soldiers were all freezing to death. This is not going to turn out well. I'm just. I just know it, but all right. I'm strangely reluctant to approach Georgie e. Pooh here. All right. All right. What do you got to say? Missing supplies. Oh, really? Okay. Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. 
a traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two uh -oh. events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. Yeah, I don't think so. No. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Okay. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As yeah. you wish. <laughs> oh no. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Yeah. Connor, I thought you were going to spill the secrets of the Assassin versus Templar conflict to old Georgie here. Well, I can eavesdrop on a conversation. Oh, who's... Oh. Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? Huh. I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George huh. had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. I feel like an idiot for so not knowing who this is right off the top of my head. Passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option. Mon Dieu. No man Mon Dieu. without your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. <laughs> Benjamin. Oh, it's okay. That is. Wait a minute. Benjamin Church updated. All right, what's up with Church? Churchy poo. Talented physician, Surgeon General. Uh, Patriot is a member of the Sons of Liberty. Oh, I see. Coded message. Right. Only kind of only do the one coded letter. I see. Yeah, really. That's a guy I'd love to hang out with, and uh, yeah, I can definitely see myself. You know, oh yeah, that's a prize catch indeed. Return to the abandoned church. Well, okay, yes, I kind of figured that was my mission objective. Oh, I should get a freaking horse. Well, the good news is, I can call my horse. Hi, buddy. I love how you just show up out of nowhere. Ah, better. Horse can get through snow much better than I can. Yeah, Valley Forge, they were star... I forget how, what percentage of... Oh, right on top of the dude. Oh, sorry. Never mind. You're not going to starve to death. My horse just murdered you. Oh, dude. That's that's crazy. But now it does strike me as a little bit uh, interesting. You know, Valley... Uh, winter war fighting it wasn't winter in, in these in these types of situations this historical time they weren't really for fighting wars they were for basically freezing and or starving to death uh, it's not a happy time <laughs> if you didn't freeze to death you starved to death and either way you were lucky to have shoes entire armies could be made or broken on the basis of sh on the basis of something simple like shoes or coats. It's quite frankly disgusting to think, you know, in modern times you think of that kind of ah! in modern times to think of that kind of deprivation is unthinkable. But that's what they had to deal with back then, those soldiers. Every day. Freezing to death and stop that, Connor. Every every single day it was either freeze to death or starve. Like when you weren't starving, you were freezing, and when you weren't freezing, you were. Uh, so when you weren't starving, you were freezing, and when you weren't freezing, you were getting your ass shot off. 
know. Okay, let's find this trinket here. This, this along with the one that I can't reach. Be, okay, off the fence. This along with the one I can't reach because it's impossible are the last um, feather. Okay, the, okay, there's the trinket in Valley Forge. There's the last feather that I have to, aside from the one I can't... Who is that? Hello. Is somebody that I care about? Nope. Alright. And the good news is this is on the way to my destination, so I don't have to worry about... Huh? Ooh, can I do a little... That cabin does not look very... Okay, let's see. Oh! Ah, nice. I thought that wasn't going to work. Oh, pfft. Really, Connor? Okay, just... Okay, run around the thing. Now climb up it. Yes. That was pointless. I can't even go in... Oh, fudge. Fine. It looked really, mu it really looked like I could actually scale all of those and do a little hop, skip, and a jump, but I guess not. Alright, feather is... Oh, up there. Not to get to it. Thank you, game, for flipping out on me. Okay. So to get that feather, I'm going to have to go... to get up to that tree, it looks like. Yeah, they decided not to make this one terribly easy. This one looks like I can get up to it, though. Oh, come on, game! Nope, can't get up to that one. I don't want to spend an entire episode f trying to find a goddamn way to get up this. Okay, jump up here. Alright, let's go up here. Which appears to be pointless. Wow, they don't make... Of all the feathers in the world to get, they had to make this one pretty tricky, huh? Okay, made it there. That was pointless. Okay, climb this one. Okay, obviously from here I can go there. And from there I can go here. But what I do once I get here is less obvious. Climbing that. Well, <laughs> yep, I didn't think so. Okay. Really? That's what I have to deal with now? Nope, oh, can't climb that. That looked like I could try to climb. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, I thought I couldn't climb it, but I can. Well, duh. Okay, well, that was easy. Perfect! I do believe that's all but one of the feathers I need. Okay, I'm going to pause and reset the video, and hopefully this isn't like 30 minutes long and I have to end up splitting it anyway. Alright.